Hello and welcome to another Bearded Geek Toy Review. In today's episode we're looking at the Terminator 2 T800 NECA action figure. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Bearded Geek Toy Reviews. In this episode, we're looking at the NECA Real Toys Terminator 2 Judgment Day T800 action figure. Um, and it's no mistake that um, T2 uh, Judgment Day is one of my favourite films. Uh, I think it's one of the best sequels ever produced. It's one of those rare sequels that is an equal of the original. Some might say it's actually better than the original, but I think it's um, because it's a slightly different film. I think it kind of like it's very much like The Empire Strikes Back in that regard. It does um, expand the story, it moves on the characters, and uh, it just delivers an absolutely excellent sequel. And it's certainly one of the best action movies of all time, up there with. Die Hard and Raiders of the Lost Ark for me. So, um, yeah, there's no secret why I've got this film um, twice on Blu-ray. Uh, obviously, the original Steelbook edition and then the recent 4K release. And then I've got the special edition T2 um, DVD, which was only available in America. And I actually bought that um, when I was on a holiday in Florida way back in uh, 2001. Uh, but I've kept that because there's some extra features on there that aren't available on these other two versions. So let's have a look at the um, box art. Now, a break from the normal departure is that it doesn't have the cinema artwork on the cover. It just goes with a standard photo of Arnie as the T-800. And obviously the logo down the side there. And then Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Um, some photographs, a standard of the action figure. Again, we'll just open that there. Nice moody shot of Arnie there with the Gatling gun. And obviously, as with these NECA toys, you get an absolute abundance of figures. And what we've got in this set is we've got the choice of not one, not two, but three different heads. Various different guns, which uh, we will look at now. Come with me if you want to live. We have the figure in its packaging, uh, and as I said, it does come with numerous accessories here. So you've got the main figure here, uh, Arnie with the uh, bandolier around there of the uh, uh, whatever style style of bullets those are. Um, I know they go in that kind of uh, gun there. You've got the choice of the different heads. You've got the sunglasses variant you've got the battered face variant there which a lovely detail you've got the handgun you've got the shotgun which he uses at the beginning of the movie uh, when he's first looking for john connor uh, and he does that signature move where he spins the shotgun around whilst he's on the, the harley davidson motorbike you've got the satchel the bandolier where he carries um, a lot of his weapons and then behind that you've got the gatling gun which um, he uses later on um, in the film when they infiltrate cyberdyne systems and obviously all the police turn up and he needs to uh, deter him to uh, get rid of the police so he breaks the window and fires the gatling gun out um, but yeah lots of accessories to look at so let's get this figure out of the packaging and have a closer look. Now it's worth noting for all you Terminator 2 fans out there um, that you'll be aware that this year is the 30th anniversary of this film being released and I can still remember going to the cinema 
and seeing this for the first time. We've been absolutely blown away by the continuation of the story, the direction, the visual effects, um, everything. Like I said, it's one of those perfect action films and one of the perfect sequels to uh, an original film. But 30 years, oh my God, uh, that really does make me feel old. Um, seeing it as an 18 year old in the cinema and obviously, you know, now 30 years on, yeah, that's giving my age away. Um, wow, um, time does fly. It really doesn't seem that long since this film was released. So closer look at the figure. Again, one thing I will mention is the sheer attention to detail in the sculpt. Um, you know, there's even stuff like the, the bullet holes in Arnie's leather jacket, which you can see there. Um, the way it's sculpted, um, it's just brilliant. And the lightness is, again, fantastic. Um, Necker really don't fail to deliver on lightnesses. Um, now, these were produced a couple of years ago and they, they're readily available. Um, they have re-released one Terminator 2 um, figure pack for the 40th, not, not 40th, 30th anniversary uh, this year, which was a Sarah Connor and John Connor twin pack, which was released um, at the beginning of the year, which retails for about 60, 70 pounds, I think. So I get the feeling that NECA are probably gonna release this figure again. Uh, whether they put it in some new packaging, I don't know. Um, but also, they're probably going to re-release the T-1000. But again, that's a f another figure that you can readily get elsewhere. And I am going to try and get hold of that and then do a follow-up review on the T-1000. Because again, that's another fantastic figure. So, there you go. I mean, you really can't fault that. And again, articulation is good. Um... You know, as with NECA, sometimes you have to be a little bit careful. Sometimes the joints are either really, really loose or really, really stiff. But in this case, um, this figure is actually really, really good. There doesn't seem to be any real tightness or looseness with the joints. It just seems to be really, really natural. So what I'm going to do is get the rest of the accessories out of the packaging and we'll have a closer look at those. So first of all to mention is the weapons. So it does come with a uh, standard automatic pistol. Again, the detail on that is really, really good. Paint job, very accurate. Then we've got the aforementioned shotgun, which uh, he uses uh, at the beginning of the movie. Uh, in fact, that's the shotgun that you can see in the background uh, that he steals off the bartender. Um, as he steals the motorbike, just as he's arrived. Again, great paint job, great attention to detail. Oops, dropped that. Then we've got the grenade launcher. That was the name I was like looking for, the grenade launcher. And obviously these are the grenades around his um, chest. So again, that, that's really good attention to detail. And then we have the Gatling gun, uh, which is wow. Just, just look at this thing. And you can pose him with um, and it comes obviously the the line of ammo which leads into the satchel which you can put around obviously his neck but look at that there that is fantastic so well, we are going to pose him with that here's the first head uh, that's the standard obviously image that you probably get with the terminator there with the sunglasses that really does look good uh, we're going to pop that on and see how he looks with the sunglasses. And then we've got the third head, which is the one from, from the end of the movie, where he's very, very battered um, after battling the T-1000 for so long. And this is the kind of like look he has as they hit into the metal refine, refinery. Uh, again, just look at that detail in the sculpt. That really is fantastic. You can't fault that. So let's have a look at the figure with those heads on. So the figure just simply, uh, the head of the figure just simply pops off and obviously it's on a ball joint. 
and obviously you've got that detail there so you can then just squeeze it on and then there you go so there he is that's the love you stuff baby that looks really really good so that look is fantastic really do like that lots of options and choices for you to display the figure there we go there's arnie with the battered head on again lots of choices lots of options he looks really good there get down <laughs> So there he is in his iconic sunglasses and shotgun lock from the beginning of the movie. That looks really, really good. Trust me. And here we have him with the Gatling gun and the ammo bag holding that ready to pounce on all the SWAT team officers who are surrounding Cyberline systems. So lots of different display options and I think you'll agree this figure is another excellent product from NECA. Uh, just be a little bit careful about where you purchase it from chances are if the eBay seller is based in China then you probably would be buying a bootleg so just do a bit of research first because sometimes the NECA figures do get bootlegged quite a lot. Hasta la vista baby. There's the T-800 with his grenade launcher and his damaged face. Again, some options there for display. And as you probably noticed previously, this bandolier can come off. So you can remove it if you wish to. So here's my Arnie next to the Terminator Blu-rays and next to the T-800 endoskeleton head that I've got in a display case with the light up red eyes which was a purchase all that I got oof, about 20 years ago uh, but that's really really cool and I will think you will agree that he looks absolutely brilliant on display so I can't recommend this figure enough so if you like this video please leave us a like and a subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification bell to get notified when we upload a, another video. Uh, lots of videos coming soon. We've got some more NECA toys to review, uh, Alien, Predator, and also got some Star Wars Black Series on the way. So stay tuned, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Today's episode, we're looking at the washing machines going off. Brilliant.